What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you how to use and import the new motion matching animation sample into your own projects. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so you can see I have my own project opened, and this is the project that I want to import this sample into. So, first of all, we need to import some necessary plugins. Otherwise, when we import the sample, things will break. So let's go up into Edit, Plugins, and the first one that we need is called Motion Trajectory. So let's enable this and click on Yes. Then, the next one that we need is Pose Search. So again, enable this. Then the next one that we need is motion warping. So let's enable motion warping, yes. And actually the next one that we need too is animation warping. So let's go ahead and also enable that one. Then we need the one of choosers. Again, yes. And then we need the animation locomotion library. Click on yes. And then finally we need the deformer graph, if I know how to type. There we go, which is gonna be this one in beta, yes. And with that said, let's go ahead and click on restart now, so all the plugins will enable. And it took me some time to figure out what specific plugins we need, so I would really appreciate if you could like the video for this you know, effort over here. Okay, let's click on this. All right, as you can see, the editor has restarted, and now all of the plugins are enabled. So now it is time to go into the game animation sample project and import this over here. So how are we gonna be doing this? Well, we're gonna be using the built-in Unreal Migration tool. So let's go to the content browser, double click on the blueprint folder, and then we can see that we have the CBP underscore sandbox character. And this is essentially the player blueprint. So we need to migrate this. So let's right click, go into asset actions, and click on migrate. And as you can see, it will automatically detect all of the necessary dependencies and also import them. So this will mean that it will also import the animation blueprint, the 500 animations, the choosers, the motion matching databases, and such things. So we can click on OK. And now we need to navigate into our own project folder. And then just double click on content. And then we can say select. As you can see now, all of the animations and blueprints will be importing into our own project. So let's wait a few seconds. There we go, everything has imported. Now you might notice that they actually disappeared, but don't worry, we can just go ahead and reload the folder and they're here. So they're actually being copied, not moved, which is quite important to mention. With that said, let's now go back into my own project. And now we go to blueprints, we can see here, which is really cool. So now to spawn it in, I'm simply gonna go ahead and just create a new blueprint class, which will be a game mode. Let's name this something as just GM test, save, Go to the world settings of this specific level and then just drag it in into the game mode override. Let's expand this options, go back into the blueprints folder and drag in the CBP underscore sandbox character blueprint into this default punk class. And now, with that said, whenever I go ahead and save and press play, we will see it over here and now we can go ahead and play around with it which is so cool as you can see. So that's it guys, I found this video helpful. I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Check out my Patreon and YouTube members for many benefits. Join my Discord server. And now, yes, with all said, bye bye.